today's guide to life is all about being a film projectionist and I'm sure a lot of you you know have been to the movies and you always seen a movie from an audience point of view but have you wondered what happens behind the scenes? So that's why today it's a very special episode where I am at Cathay Cineplex, Cine Leisure Orchard and I'm at the film projection room so yeah I'm excited because this is really exclusive and I think no other TV crew has been here before so today I'm going to be learning how to be a film projectionist. I'm here with Amir who is the film projectionist so yeah what are we starting with? Basically we will receive the film from the distributors which is in the small wheels. Our job is actually to join them up into one big giant wheel. Okay and that's what we're doing now? Yes okay. the, the method is called spice. You have to check the framing Okay. and just join it together. Mm. And that's just scotch tape? Yes. <laughs> it's called uh, it's So unglamorous one. Very. So why is this one white and why is that one? Okay, because this is the leader right now. Uh-huh. So what we do is just snap. Oh, okay. Simple. Simple enough. But there's a okay. two-one process which means you have to do it again. Make sure there's no bubble. You have to like really press it on. And one on the other side. Okay. The reason we do this is because like to secure the print so that it doesn't snap or it doesn't tear halfway through. Sometimes it does. I mean, the quality of a print itself is sometimes unpredictable. So this is how the metal of splicing goes once it's done. Ah, okay. So when we see this uh, scene on the movie screen, can I actually see the scotch tape? Uh, no, you can't. Because of one, if you see a motion on the screen, just, it's just one action that they do, just like this. Ah. It's actually 34 of this screen. Oh, okay. It's so just like... Zzz, just like that. Okay. So basically, you will not see the scotch tape in it. Okay, okay, got it. All right. So when you would like to give a try on this thing, so I'm com I'm supposed to combine these two together. So careful, you shouldn't overlay the two pins together. You just side by side. Ah. So now I take this scotch tape. And one more time. Okay. Uh oh oh. Oh no! I'm really bad at this. I think I just ruined somebody's masterpiece. Can I, can I, can I? Okay. Then bring up with the other side. Is this a special type of scotch tape? Yes, it is made for a print itself. So that uh, dust, uh, heat, and every other little, little object can't be stick to that. Oh, okay. And the uh, strength of the scotch tape is actually quite high. Okay. Okay, so I did it. How? You did okay. Ta-da! I spliced the film! <laughs> okay, so now we are in another part of the film projection room. Where are we now? Uh? Uh, this is the part where you put the print just now that we make out on the first process. This is the second process where actually we put the print on this giant platter here. Okay. As you can see, it's a giant platter. Normally, a print will be over to this size. Oh. So, but for demonstration purposes, what I will do is I'm going to get some more one for you. Okay, just to a learn to do training. These two things are connected together. The mother load, and the platter. So now I'm just going to show you how to load the film to the machine. First thing first, just take out the blue ring. So we're here. I confirm cannot do this job, I can't even reach it. Ah, so tragic. Actually, you can, no worry. Put it in these two holes over here. So as to secure this thing. So when this thing moves, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Just stick it there. Got it. So what I need to do is just grab the leader, roll through. Careful, don't worry. <laughs> my face. It will not. Did you slice my face off? Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's what you do. Spin to here. Okay. Oh, so complicated. Okay. It looks complicated when in the first time when you see it, but after a long run, you just like. Okay. Just in brain into it. But it looks like you are like torturing the film like this. No, no, it's not. Actually, in in a sense, it, uh, it kind of helps the print so that it doesn't snap. Uh huh. That's the process actually supposed to be. Because you need to unwind the print. Hey, point. how does it stick to that thing? It's called static. Oh. Okay, that's okay. cool. So this is part two of the whole process, which is uh, threading of the print to the machine itself. What if you do like one of that, those looks wrongly then huh? Uh, the movie won't run, okay. number one. And number two, your print will tear. Have you torn prints before? No. Okay. Never happened uh, because I was being taught 
strictly with a, a cane by my side. Okay. Seriously, it, it happens. So, yeah. So you put wrong, then you just. Thank yep, just pop. Okay. Wrong. Okay, sorry, Uncle. I must say it's hardcore. Whoa, it's so scary. Now it looks like it's so tight. Yeah, it's not. Then I have to lean down a bit. So, we are done. Okay. Now it's the third process itself. So, what we do is actually we run the motor. Whoa, okay. Number two, running of the xenon light. You will see from here. Third is the dowser, quite to show. Whoa, okay, okay. I can see now. Wow, this is so cool. The un unremarkable film just became like, came to life. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's like so nice looking now. Just now it was so ugly. So do you actually have to stay here and stand here to watch the whole movie? Um, not really the whole movie. It's more until uh, the uh, starting of the main picture itself. I think it's okay. Then I will go up to the sound. If it's okay, then it's fine by me. But uh, every 20 30 minutes, you have to go and look at the platter so that the movie is, doesn't really uh, disjointed or anything. Okay. So there you have it. Okay, so we've come to the end of the episode. I've really enjoyed myself today and learned a lot of stuff and yeah learn about this really daunting machine. <laughs> Thank you Amir for teaching me. Thank you, because like uh, what I taught you just now was actually the traditional method of it. It's the 35mm way, I mean, the old school way. Because like nowadays, uh, most of our halls are being incorporated with a digital machine. I kind of prefer this method, like, it's, yeah. it's, as you said, the arts. Got more of the vibe. The feel, like, the yeah. feel itself, you know. It's the like, love of film. Yeah, so guys, next time you go to a cinema and watch a movie, just remember there's so much work that goes on behind the scenes. There's so much skill and <laughs> poor Amir gets caned if he does it wrong. <laughs> so yeah, it's not just like, you know, put in a DVD and press play. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.